Hey Truth Seekers, it's Phineas. Hope you're doing well today. Well, I hope you're doing better than I am. This is my 13th time of making this video. Um, <laughs> just because it's quite an important subject. And I don't want to piss anyone off. So, the subject today is religion. By the way, it's, it's a lovely morning in England. It's blue sky. Ah, and it's Saturday. Mm. So, religion. Classic religion. Which religion is best? You have the main classic religions, Christianity, Buddhism, Judaism and Islam. Now, I want to cover this subject because our world is changing. Divine energy is coming down to the planet, hitting the planet, hitting us. We are starting to understand the truth. We are starting to grow consciousness. We are starting to understand that we are not separate. We are one. Now, with classic religion... From my point of view, after the hundreds of, hundreds of books that I've read and all the beautiful people that I've met and talking around the subject, I've come to this conclusion. This is my conclusion. <clears throat> that classic religion is an amazing place to start. And those that have been drawn towards it, especially in adult life, they're trying to be better people. They're trying to be better souls. They're trying to understand why we're here. There's nothing better than that. Trying to understand the truth. But, I have found that classic religion, if you're taking it on face value and you're looking at it literally, will hold you back to understanding what you are. That one consciousness, that one love inside of you. If you start following a religion law by law and thinking you're in the right place because you're in that religion, then you're going away from the truth. The truth is that that consciousness that lives inside you, that divinity that's me looking at you now, you looking at me, that consciousness is all connected. And however you want to dress up, however you want to say it, if you get that from classic religion, that's beautiful. I never did. Even though I still go to a Catholic church with my children because I want them to get a good grounding, but I teach them other stuff on top of that. I go to church, and to be honest, I don't see joy there. I've always thought, you know, church should be full of people singing and dancing. I suppose some of the gospel churches are like that. And I respect that, and I just think, well, why aren't we all doing that? But you are your own religion. That may sound blasphemous, but you are God. You have that divinity inside of you. I'm not saying that you are completely God, but you have divine energy inside of you. You're part of the plan. You're important. You're here to do something. You're here to connect with the truth and then find out what your talents and skills are and then express them to the world. But you can't do that if you're boxed into a classic religion and you're not understanding it. Like I, I find religion is full of well-intentioned people, but I don't think they understand the truth. If religion makes nice people, generally, as long as you're not a part of a far-right terrorist group, which Christianity and Judaism and Islam has, by the way. It generally makes nice people if you're not following that bullshit. But the truth is, brother, sister, you have love inside of you. You are consciousness. And it's your job to connect to the truth. By the way, if I get struck down by a lightning bolt when I'm saying this, <laughs> you know I've got it wrong. But I think, and apologies for looking at my notes, I know it sucks, but I, I've got, I want to get it right. So, um, there's, there's details in every religion, however, which are true. I, I believe, um, I mean, look at Judaism with their discovery of the Merkaba process, which I'm lucky enough to be experiencing. That divine light, that vehicle of light. Look at Islam with its belief of, Allah, the all one of nature and people in the universe, Allah, and jihadi, which is, I, I understand, the battle against yourself, your ego. Look at Christianity with love thy neighbour and love God with all your heart. Combine them all, all together and you're, mate, you're a winner. That's job done. If you combine them all, look at the truth. But if you box yourself into one, I, I can't see it happening. I just can't. I can't see the truth coming up. If you're in a classic religion, start reading around. 
Jesus said, don't stop learning. Don't stop learning. You're here to learn the truth. You are the truth. God dwells in you as you. He wants you to win. But if you're winning, you've got to want everyone else to win <clears throat> as well. So when it comes to what we're going through at the moment as a planet, that truth is coming down from the universe, from div the divinity is waking us all up. We need to understand this. And we need to understand that any form of separateness is running away from the truth. Now, if you look at separateness, like if you look at like nations and how they look at one another, you know, you have France and England or Germany and America. If you look at yourselves as different nation nationalities, that's, that's a blockage to the truth. But that can go on a much smaller scale. You can get like, if you look at um, football teams, like, you know, if you look at Arsenal and Chelsea and West Ham, you know, that creates kind of friction when you all of a sudden go, well, I support them, you support them, so I'm against you. But you can, you can get that down to the, 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 the individual people, like, I'm me and you're you, and I want to win, I don't want you to win. Or You need to understand that all the boundaries, all the borders need to go down, because I ain't no borders. We're all in it together, we are all one. And classic religion, most of them have beautiful truth. But I don't see it shining through. Not what the real truth is. I don't see it shining through. I think they've all got beautiful truth. And I think if you combine them all together and start realising that we are divinity, we are love, then, and only then, are we on a winner. Okay, guys, I want to keep it short today. <clears throat> I want that message to sink in without me rattling on. And I've made this video so many times and I, I want to stop it and download it. And... But listen, have a great day. Have a wonderful day. Love you all. The way to wake up, by the way, is doing that physically, spiritually and mentally. Start healing today, whether that's if you've got traumas inside of you, there's ways of releasing those traumas. I do nutritional balancing programs as a way of physically and spiritually sorting yourself out. Um, or do it in any way that you think suits you. But the world needs you. God needs you to wake up. We all need you. So start making a difference today. Be that being of light. Be that truth seeker. I know you can do it.